If you've ever wanted to fly fish, but you don't have a fly rod or you don't know how, there's a really easy way that you can do it with your spin rod. And I'm gonna show you, and this is absolutely deadly effective. And in some cases, you can even outfish fly fishermen, quite simply, because you'll be able to cast further. As all you need is your standard spinning rod, just like you would use wherever you may be fishing. And as all we've got here is a bubble float that slides on the line, and it's filled probably two thirds full of water, so it just floats. This basically becomes our sinker. Then you can have a small swivel, or as I've done, just a rubber band tied around the line. It locks on the line beautifully. And then you can slide that up and down to adjust the depth of where your trailing lure, or in this case, your trailing fly, follows behind. Now, as you would imagine, you couldn't cast that on its own on this spin rod, but with that bubble float filled with water, we can cast it like a rocket, we can cast it into the wind, and then we can very slowly work it back, and it looks just like a little bug moving along under the surface. And as we've got this breeze blowing into this back bay here, and we've got some deep water out there, if I put my Polaroids on, I can clearly see there's a drop off. When it comes to casting this rig, don't sort of snap it out like you would with a lure, do more of a lob cast just like this, and as you can see, that goes like an absolute rocket. And then from there, very, very slowly, we're just going to wind like this. And with those little waves going along the, the lake just here, that floats bobbing up and down, and that fly on its own is just bobbing up and down on its own behind it. But we can even just very, very slowly do this. When the fish eats it, the line pulls directly through that float and you'll get a very, very good hook up rate. You can even leave this just sitting like it is and it will drift its way down through an area, but it's great when the wind's blowing in your face because this floats quite heavy, you can cast it out. But most of all, just really, really slowly and you can fish any fly you want, a tiny little nymph like this one or a big wet fly. You could even put a dry fly off the back of it and just let that float along. The other great thing is because we're working the fly so slowly, we're keeping it in the strike zone for even longer than we would if it was a spinner or a little hard body that we work through the area fairly quickly. This is deadly effective. It's so effective. I've seen trout caught over 10 pounds at Emerald Lake at Cockatoo using this method.